Bryce here again for the Glue Bomb Show. I decided to take a minute and record this one real quick. I have a new unboxing for you today. This is of a kit I've been wanting to get my hands on since I found out it was coming out. It's Tom Daniels Unreal Roller, brought out again, repopped to us by our friends at Atlantis. Uh, such a cool kit. I know I had this when I, when I was a kid. I know I built it. I know I had a good time with it, and I'm looking forward to doing it again. So let's have a look at what we've got inside. First of all, if you look at the sides of the box, you can see a, a side view of it, a different view. Uh, the ends of the box are also pretty nice. And uh, of course, you got another nice artist rendering there. And uh, again, Tom Daniel, just, just an excellent, amazing artist. Of course, here are a few other Tom Daniel kits that are available from our friends in Atlanta. So we have the Lil Tarantula, the Lil Red Baron. Hey, uh, Atlantis folks, if you're seeing this, we would love to have the big ones of those. All right. Anyway, here we go. Let's look at what's inside this box. Okay. Now we're going to start off with the chrome. Massive amounts of chrome in this one. Remember, it's a show rod. And so we always have lots of chrome on a show rod, but there's especially a lot of chrome on this one because the wheels, there's no rubber tires. This is a roller. It's full chrome. So here we have, you'll see the, uh, the roof of the, the cab. Uh, you'll see the roller. This is the front roller. Of course, we've got some engine parts and wheels here. Uh, we got the, the fan, the, the belt, not really the fan belt. I guess you call it the blower belt. Uh, manifold covers, all this other uh, nice big shifter controller kind of thing here. And uh, numerous other parts. And then on here we have, again, the, uh, the two big rear wheels. Also another, of course, header. The seat, very much like a tractor seat, wheelie bars, some really interesting looking lamps, and uh, I guess those would be considered headlights, if you will, and oh boy, just lots of fun stuff on there. And then the plastic itself is cast in green. Again, not a huge amount of parts on this fairly easy build, but we're going to uh, it's still going to be fun, right? Because and, and look at what it's going to look like when we think about what it's going to look like when we put it on the shelf. Oh, man, look at this stuff. Here's the, the body, if you will. <laughs> There's a chassis piece. Uh, we've got, looks like the blower scoop. There are the blowers on here as well. It's funny, the ends of the blower are chrome, but the center of the blower is green. Uh, we're going to have some fun with that. And then, of course, just some miscellaneous other parts, probably a roof support or a roll bar, axle bar here. Um, looks like maybe another shifter and a control panel, which looks very much like a control panel would on a standard uh, uh, blacktop roller, which is what we're dealing with here. I believe if memory serves that there was also like a cement mixer to this series and a bulldozer. I really hope those come out eventually because uh, I would love to have the whole set. Here are the decals. Aren't those nice? I mean, it's solid metallic gold lettering and uh, some pinstriping. And it looks like it'll be fairly easy to lay down too. Uh, there'll be some Tom Daniel signatures. I like to put, uh, ha in a sense, have the artist sign it by putting a, a sticker on there. And I will put that on somewhere. And then here we have the instruction set. Okay, so in the beginning here, lots of reading instructions. And, and there's something I want to highlight on these, again, because we've got such a ton of chrome pieces. Make sure you scrape the chrome. I, I know I touch on that a lot, but it's important. Glue does not stick to chrome. For years and years and years, I tried it. It doesn't. My friend Ken has some real success with E6000. I've tried that, and in some cases it does work, but I think with as much visibility as these chrome pieces will have, I don't know how much E6000 I want to use, but I will scrape the chrome. So we start off with assembling the chassis. Decals go on in pretty much the first step. No, not pretty much, the first step. And we have the, uh, the front end roller here, which looks like it is going to be a turning piece. Uh, 
And then we have engine assembly and, oh, that's actually step six. This folds this way, okay. Uh, here you see the, the rest of the parts going together, the assembly of the, the drivetrain more or less, and then the attachment of the body to the drivetrain. And we get some engine assembly. We finish up the engine assembly and do some last, uh, the adding the driver's seat, things like that. And then finally we have adding the tank and adding that really cool corrugated roof. So anyway, this is going to be a fun kit to build. I'm looking forward to it. There's a good chance it'll jump in front of another project I have going. <laughs> I really shouldn't do that. I really need to finish what I start and I often do, but I'm having a real bear with this one kit. And so I'm probably gonna jump over and do this. So maybe this will even be episode 90 because this one here is 89. Can you believe it? I'm 10 short of 100 episodes. That's pretty awesome. So here's the thing, guys. If you enjoy this kind of content, subscribe, tell your friends, spread the word. I don't get paid for this. I just love to share what I know about the hobby and what I'm enjoying. Because remember, folks, model building is supposed to be fun. So have fun. <laughs>